Hey guys, so there have been an absolute ton of questions from you guys as to what is actually happening on the 8th and then again on the 15th, so let's have a little chat. But first, before we get to any of that, the Taken King launches at 2 a.m. PDT on the 15th. That's early morning for you Euros, that's evening for the Australians, and that's the middle of the damn night for the Americans. Yes, I will be streaming pretty much all day. So why is it 2 a.m.? Well, that's when the weeklies and the dailies reset, so I'm sure it had to do something with that. On the 8th, patch 2.0 will become available to everyone for free. What is in patch 2.0? Well, let's start from the top. First, characters. The level cap will now be level 34, and then when the Taken King launches, it'll be bumped up to level 40. This means you have a week to grind to level 34 if you want to, and you increase your level with experience now, not light. Character level and light are now separate things. Your character's new level, when the patch launches, will be whatever the highest level you can possibly get with all of your gear right now. So if the highest level you can get is 27, then you're going to be a 27. If you're a level 34 right now, then you'll be a level 34 when 2.0 hits. Attack and defense numbers are getting their stat crunched, so those in full level 34 gear should have a light score of probably around 160 to 170. However, your power, aka how much damage you deal and receive, is still going to be the same as it is right now. Finally, your grimoire score is getting moved from your nameplate to your character screen. Next up are quests. The quest system is being put into the game. You'll get a quest tab, everything will be converted into quests, and all that stuff. Any abandoned quests can be recovered in the Hall of Guardians, aka where all the Vanguard hang out. All year one stuff is also getting converted into the quest system. Bounties are up next. Bounty slots are getting increased to 16. Incomplete year one bounties will be automatically abandoned on the 8th to prepare for the Taken King. Incomplete Year 1 Exotic Bounties will be automatically completed with their respective vendors, so it does not sound like you're going to be able to save those to try and game the system for a 280 weapon in Year 2, or whatever. Year 1 Eris Bounties are getting retired, but in the Taken King you'll still be able to gain reputation with Eris, which is good since they're increasing her reputation cap, I think. I'm not sure if she will offer new bounties, though. So, let me clarify that bounty stuff. Let's say that you have the exotic bounty for Thorn, and you still need to go kill Zyor. On the 8th, the game will just automatically complete that for you, and you'll go get a Year 1 Thorn. This applies also to the Elder Cypher weapons, which will now just have a chance of dropping from the chest, and yes, I think that literally means that you might just get the weapon straight from the chest. As for regular bounties, if you have a bounty completed and it's just sitting in your inventory, that will stay. If the bounty is not fully complete, it'll get dropped. You'll still be able to stockpile bounties for the 15th. Public event packages were not mentioned in any way and will likely remain unaffected. Next, the tower is getting all of the blueprint collection kiosks. Emblems and shaders are near Ava Levante, ships are over by Amanda Holiday, and exotics are in the Hall of Guardians. Motes of light will be used to grant experience to weapons and armor. Now that class-specific armor materials are becoming unified, the Vanguard Quartermaster will exchange your old stuff for this new material, although you cannot trade your stuff for the new material until the 15th. The weapon balance tuning that I described in a video a few weeks ago will also be taking place, for example, the auto rifle buffs. For more info on those changes, click here for the video or check the description for the notes. The House of Wolves Fallen Wolf Hunt Patrol targets will be retreating. This means if you do not have all the Grimoire yet for those targets, you will not be able to get those cards, so go kill those targets. You do not need to have the bounty to get the Grimoire, you just need to go kill the target. For a list of the targets, check the description. Finally, the Moments of Triumph timer has been extended until the 14th, so you get a few more days to get all those done. Also coming on the 8th is a preview of the Taken King Crucible. This means that for the week before the Taken King comes out, the 8th to the 14th, all Taken King Crucible activities and maps are available to everyone to play for free. Rift and Mayhem are going to be playable and all the new maps are going to be playable. 
What are not playable are the new subclasses. Those will be only unlocked when the Taken King hits. Rift is an absolute ton of fun. I really, really, really cannot wait to get my hands on that. After the 14th, though, all that stuff gets locked behind the Taken King. That's why it's a preview event. So what can't you do on the 8th? Basically, you can't do any Taken King PvE content. That means, no, you cannot do the Taken King quests, you cannot get your new subclass, you cannot play the new raid, you cannot get level 40, you cannot go to the Dreadnought, you cannot buy Taken King weapons or armor. You see in the theme here? Vanguard and Crucible Marks are not getting converted until the 15th either, meaning you cannot earn Legendary Marks until the Taken King hits. Now the download size for the patch is quite large. If you're on PlayStation 4 or Xbox One, you will need 18 gigs of space. If you're on PlayStation 3, you'll need 20 gigs of space, but the download and install will only be 10 gigs in size. And Xbox 360, you'll need 10 gigs of space. You may want to leave your consoles in rest mode so you can download the patch while you're sleeping or at work or whatever. So that's what's happening on the 8th. Hopefully that clarifies some stuff up for you guys. My guide to preparing for the Taken King does not really change with any of this new information, which is good. Except, I guess with regards to those fallen bounty targets, make sure you do those if you care about Grimoire, which I think you should because there's no way they're going to go the full 10 years without ever making Grimoire into something worth having. That's my hope at least. Anyway, that's what's happening on the 8th. Get ready, get hyped. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.